A disabled veteran here in Denver is now looking for help. His business is in limbo after thousands of dollars of tools were stolen right out of his truck. Denver 7's Gary Broad has more. They got everything, man. It was it was soul crushing. After spending six years in the Army, Brian Nicola has been working to grow his handyman business. Every dime that I had that didn't go toward food or rent went toward tools and building my business. Last week, the business he worked so hard to build was hit with a major blow. It just it really hurts to come out and just see everything that you work so hard for for this lawn just gone. Nicola says in the dead of night outside of his apartment at the Hudson at Highline, his van was broken into. They actually bent the, the metal in to try and reach down to get to this door right here, but they couldn't. So when they did that, I think they just came around to the back and smashed the door. The thieves got away with tools and appliances. Apartment size washing machine right here um, that they took as well. Nicola estimates his losses are in the thousands. I would say anywhere in the uh, the range of six to eight thousand dollars with the tools. Nicola tells us his business insurance won't cover what was taken because it didn't happen on a job. And even though it happened outside of his apartment, renters insurance won't cover it because the company considers the stolen items business property. And where's that leaving me right now? Broke. We can't even I mean, we can't we can't even do the jobs to get the money to get the tools back. To make matters worse, the thieves also stole the van's catalytic converter. I mean, when I start this thing, it sounds like a, a race car. But that is getting taken care of thanks to the generosity of a local dealership. General manager of Groove Forward did come. He messaged me on Facebook because I've put this out, you know, across the, the groups and stuff like that as many as I could find um, about our situation. He caught in contact with me and let me know that he's going to come pick up the van tomorrow um, with their tow truck and they're going to replace the windows and the uh, the catalytic converter for us for free. Nicola doesn't expect to get his property back. Denver Police Department says no arrests have been made. In Denver, Gary Broad. It hurts. <laughs> Definitely hurts. Denver 7. And Brian has started a GoFundMe to try to get his truck fixed and hopefully raise money to buy back some of those tools. We've got a link to it on this story up right now on the DenverChannel.com.